ever wondered why your new resolution can go seem harder to achieve whereas there's someone else you know who is achieving that effortlessly well before i tell you the answer i want to go with two of my friends to ask them how their new resolutions and goals we are going are they meeting their monthly target for the new year and you may spend your family replies let me show you. What's with that? It's a day easy to give up. I say it's sweet to give up. Like, Why? Like people just they chill, man. People just they reflex, they be chop, they relax. And you said go for January, like yeah, no, no stress. Yeah. She said go for January. Yeah, I said go for this year. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just say it's very hard. Like I've not even made steps or like plans or achieve anything. She. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good for now. Nah, I don't know why. Fuck that. Guy, yeah, I don't know, Joe. You say something else, dude. Just the man, those man, not talk serious because yeah, I read something, bro. You don't really find it. But if you found your drop, you make money. Nah, I found him, guy. Found shall we? Most of the projects go ahead. Give me like that, and Joe can do something like that. So most of the things will take time. Most of the projects will be like two days, one kind of thing. Mm-hmm. 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 But at least, at least, the first quarter makes sense more. I know that's funny, right? But if you are still here, I would love to subscribe to the channel as a sign of support. I really appreciate it. Now, if you are like majority of people I know who set New Year resolutions and go during the New Year, by now your motivation might have fizzled out or even forgetting about your goal because you lack direction or clarity on what you should be doing. And for some people, you've already given up. If any of that is you, I just want to say, don't give up. Don't give up after i did a lot of book focus on how to change your habits and how to help you achieve your goals i think the ones that had the most impact on me are just these ones which i obviously call my favorite they are just four books the first one is atomic habits by james clare how to change by katie milkman tiny habits by bj fox and the power of habits by charles Dewey. after implementing everything i've learned in these four books over the month and seeing the impact on my personal life and work life i can confidently say i have the answer to your problem and it doesn't matter what month of the year you are watching this video be it february march april may june july or whatsoever if you follow through everything i've shown in this video i can guarantee you you'll be able to achieve your goal faster and easier now i'll tell you the problem that's holding you from achieving your goal then i'll tell you the solution but instead of starting the problem i'll start with the solution first and it's quite simple i'll tell it to you now forget about your goal focus on your system i mean stop focusing on your goal i know that's a very hard call to make it goes against everything you've learned of <laughs> everything you've been hearing but that's not the truth focusing on your goal is causing more problem for you than you think and i'll tell you what the first problem with focusing on your goal is that people do have this misconception that focusing on your goal actually make you achieve your goal we do have this misconception that people who focus on their goals are the ones who win but think about it both people who win and people who lose both focus on their goal so if focusing on your goal is what makes the difference between people who and people who lose shouldn't that give you an insight it's not about focusing on your goal but something else which i call system let me make a practical uh, analogy now imagine a competitive race both someone wins that race and someone who loses that race both focus on the goals of the race which is to actually win the race and win the prize but think about it both of them focus on the goal so if focusing on the goal isn't what actually makes the difference between the person who wins and the person who loses shouldn't that give you an insight focusing on the goal actually doesn't have an impact on you actually achieving your goal now the second problem with focusing on your goal is that it would steal your happiness if you look at the majority of people who quit or give up on your goal you realize they became unhappy in the process of pursuing this goal which stems from the fact that you are focusing on their goal let me give you an instance for the majority of people who go to the gym to lose weight they go to the gym and after every session they go into the weight scale to check if they've lost some weight and to their disappointment they realize they've not lost any weight they repeat this for some days and after some times when it looks like they're not seeing results they just become unhappy and give up why they give up because they were unhappy why they become unhappy because you are focusing on their goal which is to lose weight this is the same reason majority of people probably someone like you is learning the new skill or business and after you grind for some days and you are not seeing results you just become unhappy and give up why they give up because you are unhappy you are not seeing results why they become unhappy because you are focusing on your goal which is to make money or whatever without asking yourself if there's something you're supposed to do which you are not doing or you are doing something wrong which are basically how you build the system another issue with focusing on your goal is that you can only experience the change for a moment goal is a destination so you can just experience the change for a short period of time and in all honesty why we said goal is in just to get to a new higher level but continuously operating at that new higher level for instance if you are fat and want to get fit you go to the gym and put in the work 
and you get your desired body, you are fit. You want to continuously be fit. You don't want to go back to being fat. But the truth is, if you focus on your goal, probably you can achieve it. But if you don't have the system, you go back to where you are before. For instance, uh, you do have this friend who is it's organized person, his room is always scattered, and again, it's a cold balizer. So I remember this one time I was in his house, you are just in, then he, get a, he got a call from one of his new guests who called him and said she was coming around. Out of excitement, he just jumped up and told me he needs to clean every day. Now the key word is that he needs to tidy up every day. He made that his goal. So before I knew it, he tidied up every day, everyone was arranged and sparkling clean and all that. Did he achieve his goal? Yes. So in order not to spoil the mood, I left that day and after I recall two, I was in the street again. So I branched to actually just greet my friend and guess what? The whole room was scattered. Why? Because it doesn't have the system to operate an organized and clean room. Now, this is the very reason a lot of people say they want their business to keep generating one million naira every month. They might do it once and it become other doing it again. So people who say they want to achieve a goal, they might get lucky and do something, probably they don't know how they did that thing and they'll achieve that goal. Then they see it getting harder to do again and they feel like probably something is against them. No, nothing is against you. You don't just have the system or you've not mastered that system to keep operating at that level. So what is a goal and what is system? Goals are basically what you want to achieve, why system are processes that lead to these goals. And here's why I should focus on them. Out of these two scenarios, I want you to choose one. If you want to climb the mountain, will you just stay at the bottom of the mountain and start looking at the top, focusing on the top because you want to climb it? Or the second scenario which is, when you get to the mountain, instead of looking at the top, focusing at the top, do you just focus around the mountain and start asking yourself, where should I place my hand? Where should I place my hook? And if you place your hands on somewhere slippery, do you remove your hand and place your hand where you have better grip? If you are like majority of people or like me, I know you go for the second option which depicts that you are focusing on your system and that's basically what you should be doing when you focus on your system instead of your goal you realize you don't have the time to become unhappy or even thinking of giving up because you realize you're on a safe learning journey for every time you make a mistake or fail at something you come to the realization yeah this thing isn't working i shouldn't be doing it this way this is what i have to be doing because you are constantly iterating on what you should be doing and how you should be doing it you start noticing you are becoming better and in this sense you start mastering the system which would enable you to achieve your goal and when you master the system, you realize you can achieve this goal over and over and over again. For majority of people coming into the new year, you set a new goal, you set a new plan, but you don't change who you are, basically a new you. And that's what's giving a lot of people problem. I want to say something now that supersedes everything I've said in the video, like it supersedes everything I've said. And that is that to achieve any goal, there's someone new you need to become. Without becoming that person, that new person you can't achieve that goal even if you achieve that goal you can't sustain it for long and we all know that's true that someone you need to become but majority of people would rather sit around and do nothing because of the initial embarrassment that come with becoming that new person the fear of what my friends say about me or what my family think about me the trick i use in escaping this thought is to ask myself if i die today would i regret not doing this thing i want to do if the answer is yes then i just say fuck it I do it. At the constant reminder of that, every other person's opinion becomes irrelevant and I think you should try to it work. So to be able to achieve your goal, you need to focus on your system. And to be able to focus on your system, there's someone new you need to become. And to become that someone new, you need to change your current habits. So how do you build new habits which would make you become that someone you need to become who can focus on their system and achieve their goal? Everyone has a goal which obviously requires specific habits and there is no general formula for it, you just have to embark on a self-discovery journey. But there are two questions, two hacks I use and I think will be helpful for you. The first one is to ask yourself, what type of person can achieve these goals I've set out to achieve? When you ask yourself this question, you notice someone comes to mind, probably your mentor or an high achiever you are looking up to. You start noticing where they hang out, what they do, what time of the day they do what they do, things they consume and all that. This will help you to know what you should be doing so you can build a better system and achieve your goals. The second question is to ask yourself, each day you wake up, you ask yourself, what can I do today to achieve this goal? Now, the importance of this question is to make you do something every day to actually move towards achieving that goal. 
now every day you wake up and ask yourself this question you realize you are doing something meaningful important which will lead to that goal and if you do this consistently you realize you are making baby steps which is compounding and will lead to you achieving that goal so these two questions will help you create a would i call it a formula or a framework on what type of habits you should be doing the second question would keep you consistent doing everything you need to be doing so you can achieve it i think that's it for now and honestly embarking on a journey that requires you achieving your goal is always rough sometimes overwhelming most times lonely this is why we created a startup with push which is just a community network of accountability partner it's like having a community where you have three other people who are on similar journey with you now imagine you've read four books which gives you knowledge on a particular niche so you can achieve your goal in that niche and you have two other friends who have read four different other uh, four different books on that niche too having same similar goal as you if you keep engaging these people if you constantly engage them you realize you don't just have four books on your head you have 12 books by constantly engaging with these people and except from that these fellow people will push you when you are down they will encourage you when you feel like you have head block and you don't just know what you are doing that's the essence of the community and if you love to join for now it's only for creatives if you love to join i'll place a link below this video and you can click on it and fill up all the necessary information then we can pair you up with other people who have similar goals with you and are on the same journey with you for now it's only meant for creatives i mean creators or you operate and you are around the tech or marketing niche and i must be very honest with you it's not free but it's also free what i mean is you have to bet on yourself that's how serious it is when you bet on yourself you take it more seriously when you perform all your tasks and achieve your goal you get your money back but if you fail to perform all your tasks and you don't achieve your goal you will distribute your money to your fellow accountability partner it's that simple so wherever you are right now probably if you have given up on your goal or if just you just lack clarity on what you should be doing and again it doesn't matter what month of the year you're watching this video i just hope it helps you and this puts you back on track to be doing what you're supposed to be doing so if you are still here, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe now. Until next time.